missionary anywhere in the world. You can be it next door. You can be it in Africa, in China, in France, in your backyard. Father, we're ready to set up now. Help everybody to have a good attitude. You could be anywhere and be a missionary. I mean, we're in Indiana. That's the last place I thought I'd be a missionary at, to be honest. We pray that people will come by tonight and we'll need you. We'll praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. When America is in a rut, a religious rut and it really needs some uplifting. So remember why we're here and remember when you do the surveys you hold them and ask the people the questions and mark them as you're talking with them. Look especially for people ages 10 to 19. Excuse me, would you like to take a quick survey? Okay well do you have a minute? Can I give you a survey? Our kids that go to county fairs and share the gospel of Jesus Christ and they do a survey and there's a number of teen questions. Do you think most teenagers attend church? No. Is cruising a good teen activity? No. And then the last question is the one that turns the, the whole subject to the spiritual. If you died, would you go to heaven? Yes. Uh, why do you say that? I will. I believe in it. Why not? And what is it that would grant you the permission to come into heaven? Have you ever heard about this guy named Jesus? Okay, well, he's this really great guy. And Taking these surveys can change someone's life forever. It will change people's lives forever. Excuse me, ma'am, would you like to take our survey? Excuse me, would you like to take our survey? All I can do is simply ask a question. Would you like to take a survey? Would you like to have Jesus in your life? Excuse me, would you like to take our survey? I cannot force feed them like a baby. And if they say no, it's not my fault. And I'm going to do everything I can. I'll keep asking them. Excuse me, would you like to take our survey? I'm not angry with them in any way. I actually feel more sorry for them. Can you please take our survey? Woo! I guess not. I wanted to quit so bad because it's like, what am I wasting my time on? Everyone has a hole in their heart. Don't use these things as what to fill your hole. Make sure it's Jesus. That sucks. And then I was like, it's not in the numbers, it's the relationship. You guys have done a, a pretty good job, even though it's been really slow tonight. I want to encourage you to keep, keep your focus and keep asking. And the temptation to throw it in, I was like, God's going to do something really great because there would be no reason for Satan to want to tempt me with that if I didn't think God was going to do something good while I'm here. If I know, if I were you, I sound like a salesman, I know that if I were you, I would not want to go to hell. Yeah. Right? And you don't want to have that either, right? They're throwing their lives away in their hands and they have a chance to save it. And all they have to do is say yes. few days it's amazing nothing really prepares you for the things you're gonna see here these children really had nothing this is Chola this is all he has these are the clothing he has and he has no blankets he just sleeps on the on the ground when he wakes up this morning Probably you, you, you felt cold, okay? It was freezing cold in the winter at night. This a piece of chitenge material, that's what he uses for his blanket. They are lacking books, they are lacking clothes, they are lacking blankets. These kids are just, just like us. <laughs> <laughs> and they wouldn't want to go through the situation they are going through. Just pray together and hopefully God is going to to, to, to see us through in these situations. Hope and to give them light for their future. I'm here to teach them about God and stuff, but I really am here just for the kids. I'm not here really to learn about God. My 
the kids, like, they need parents and they need love. For the past, probably, I'd say, four years, I've wanted to be a doctor. Um, I just have such a passion for medicine. These kids have cuts all over their bodies. They're, they're scared of us, but they want to hold our hands. I mean, it's not like anything you could ever experience. <laughs> I love taking pictures. I don't know, I just enjoy it. It's fun. When you look through a camera, it's like, oh wow, I'm actually here. I'm actually filming it, and I actually have something to prove I was here. <laughs> I actually am learning something here about people and how they have to live and how I live compared. Smile. It's very surreal. It seems so far away. Aww. But when you're there and you hold their hands and you see their bloated bellies and you can feel their pain, it just touches you on a level that you can't imagine. Christianity brings them hope. I think that, you know, missions are going to change the world. And I think that's how I've grown spiritually. They are also grateful that may you continue the same ministry that we have started and may God see you through. Bye. Bye. I mean, it has changed me in a lot of ways. It, it just, it makes me kind of think when I go back home, I'm, you know, just kind of be straight again, like get all my stuff back in order. And um, I don't know, it just kind of makes me want to feel like more mature in that area. I had kind of mixed emotions about leaving Africa. I loved Africa, but I was having a hard time, and I did want to get home. Missing the one, the person that you're in love with, I'm heartsick for him. <laughs> I want to live my life good, just for them. why I like being on this trip because I know that America needs help and there's a real need for it here. Go get them tigers. Excuse me, I don't want to take a survey. Would you guys like to take our survey? Would you like to go to heaven? Yeah. That's a better question now, isn't it? Okay. Tabby's like the pro. No, she just does it the best. It was really nice to meet you. you too. I hope that I have helped you today. Okay. All right, bye. Got another one. Little Miss Tabby. Little Miss Tabby.